governments lie all the time. Well, not just the American government. It's just in the nature of governments. Well, they have to lie. And since they don't represent the people, and so since they act against the interests of the people, the only way they can hold power is if they lie to the people. people the truth they wouldn't last very long Slaves that was changing the nation The white man was a cannibal praying to Satan Hatred, contempt, or pity, or patronization That's the cornerstone, everything racism based in The African had a more advanced civilization Black was slave, master was white, rationalization 50 million dead, that's western civilization At first they appeared in the north And they were helpless in the face of superior force And all of them were chained together, they really was lost Racism isn't natural, it's merely divorce Before the slave trade, black was considered distasteful By the Oxford Dictionary, I find it disgraceful It's not a natural tendency to be bitter and hateful It's an actual enemy of the critical staple Slavery grew as the plantation system grew The reason for that's kinda easily traceable Society of helpless dependence was capable Of saying fuck a slave master, you were slavery too Seven slaves were put to death for murder and master Fear of slave revolt had them developing faster You were Catalina killer, an elegant bastard I would burn the white man while smelling the ashes From time to time, white man was part of the resistance White indentured servants wanted no part of the system King Philip's war showed that if people would listen That they could maybe break the complex chain of oppression Tyranny is tyranny, but that's a concession But the women, they was treated like that of possessions Black women had it work cause they was abused That's the white justification of Aryan blues The next move was to dominate the Mexican James Polk dominated them like they was next to kin He sent Colonel Cross the lot of them and let them in Eleven days later his skull was crushed so message sent We take nothing by conquest, that was the mantra The military wasn't human, they were just monsters Henry David Thoreau refused to pay his taxes Announced the Mexican war and got locked in shackles The 20th century opened, anger re-emerged Reality of ordinary life was being heard Anarchists and feminists came from factory work Communism Socialism seemed to be rebirth War is the health of the state is what Bourne said And if you was born around that time you was born dead The espionage act had people confused Cause it was double talk and they didn't know how it be used Supposedly it was an act against spying Do boys know that that was bullshit and they was lying Charles Schenck was arrested in Philadelphia For printing and distributing leaflets cause they was helping you He was indicted, tried and then found guilty And spent six months in jail, don't that sound? Silly had his freedom taken away by his own nation. But there's a lesson do not submit to intimidation. The act still exists today, and this shit is real. Supposedly, Kennedy tried to have that shit appealed. Eugene Debs did 10 years for no purpose. He obstructed the recruiting and enlistment service. The post office started taking mail privileges. 
pages of magazines who printed anti-war sentiments. A socialist named Fairchild had it right. He said that they could shoot me, but they can't make me fight. They sentenced him to a year in jail, and that was reckless. 65,000 men conscientious objectors. They were sent to army bases to work there. They were treated sadistically and were hurt there. They were strangled with a hemp rope till they collapsed. And officers punched their stomach and they lower back. A garden hose was placed on their face with a nozzle about six inches from them so they couldn't swallow. The war ended in 1918. The government was just trying to wipe the slate clean. Hemingway wrote farewell to arms. Dalton Trumbo wrote Johnny got his gun. The war was over, but they didn't learn a lesson. Twin tactics of control, reform and repression. The patriotic fervor of war had been invoked. That's why the country that you live in is a fucking joke. You cannot be neutral on a moving train. This is a story about the lies that your teacher told you. This is real, actual, factual. No lies in the whole record. If you don't believe me, look it up. I'm trying to share the shit that I learned with y'all. Do the knowledge. Your government does not care about you. The people in power do not care about you. Understand that. Power to the people. This is the last war. In World War I, they said, this is a war to end all wars. And then, not long after that, was World War II. And then soon, the United States was waging war in Korea, and then in Vietnam. If you study history, what you learn is that wars are always accompanied by lies. Wars are always accompanied by deception. 